Okay, for those worrying about a COVID surge come this winter, um, couple that with flu season, um, they say, uh, here's what you should probably be doing. Preparing yourself for the COVID surge. How do you do that? Stock up on food and supplies. Oh, but they say, don't don't go crazy. Don't go emptying out. Just go, don't take out everything. Um, you know, they say probably a good idea to increase your water. Uh, have a two-week supply on hand just in case. Which is always good in winter anyways in case there's a power outage yeah. or whatnot. So you have access to that. But um, Household cleaning and protection. Get your masks, your disposable masks, um, cleaning supplies. Bleach supplies. And again, you wipes. don't need a ton of these. You no. need some of these because, let's be honest, the average bottle of cleaning mm-hmm. spray seriously lasts you usually a couple of months with weekly or every third day cleanings, which depending on what you're doing, you probably don't need to do a complete wipe down every day. Um, should you find yourself in a two-week quarantine yep. uh, that you didn't expect to be happening, sure. um, you can't really go anywhere to pick this stuff up. Um, your medicine cabinet, um, of course, there's going to be coughing and, and sneezing and stuff and like that. that's general colds and flu and right. COVID. That's any of the above. It's winter. Right. It's winter in southeastern Ontario so, and northern New York. So, so have that all on hand just in case. Mm-hmm. And again, if you are if you got the COVID, you can't go out. Um, long-lasting food and drinks. They say don't empty shelves. Um, but uh, grab a little extra when you're there. Some canned goods some canned vegetables. Um, non-perishables that'll last for a while. It is a couple of this and a couple of that. We'll get, it's truly a couple of weeks. If, if Whether there is, you're told you have to stay home or you have to stay home because you've been exposed or tested positive, just have kind of a couple of weeks supply for backup. And we're not talking 30 cans no, of green beans. No. But then they say, uh, prepare for disaster just in case. Have a disaster kit on hand. Flashlights, utility knife, paper, pencils. I guess you can write your last will and testament just in case you're not found alive. Or your shopping um, list when you come back around. I don't know. Cash, traveler's checks, and coins. What are you going to do with that? Hang on to it, I guess, just in case. Is it a souvenir? Needles and thread, uh, duct tape, sell. maps. <laughs> not for your phone in case we lose, lose electricity because of the coronavirus. Tweezers, garbage bags, cell phone chargers, backup batteries. And of course, don't forget entertainment because if you're stuck at home, you can't go anywhere with your kids. You got to have something to do. Board games. Books. Videos. DVDs, movies, things to watch, things to do. I want to take up needlepoint. That's what the needle and thread's for. <laughs> As you're stuck inside all winter long, I, unable to go anywhere. I'm just gobsmacked. Because of the virus. No. More info on the winter surge and how you should prepare yourself now. Don't wait. More info. Yes, FM, Facebook, Twitter at 967 Yes, FM, and the Mercy Morning page at yesfm.com. Oh.